Greetings and welcome to The Home Slice. This is a standard intro if you already know what's up with my 40 millimeter manila rope testing, the Andy rope test, then you can skip to this time listed on screen. This is where the actual edge test begins. If you haven't been here before, then you've caught me in the middle of a testing series where I'm taking Victorinox knives because they're simple steel that's mainly just steel. There's not a bunch of extra alloys and carbide things going on in them. And I'm testing what different sharpening stones do to them. I'm testing fine, medium, and coarse stones individually. Then I'm taking the best from those and I'm making what's called a dual grit edge. If you're new to the channel, a dual grit edge is where you sharpen one side coarse or medium and the other side of the edge you sharpen fine. It has some really interesting characteristics. Usually it creates an, an aggressive edge that lasts longer than it normally would with either coarse or fine, with some exceptions, which we're testing to find out. Anyway, my test consists of, I've got a little goofy rig that I slice through a one centimeter thick sisal rope and it's on a 45 degree wedge. It's intended to transfer that force down. And then I measure how many kilograms of pressure it took to slice through the rope while holding the rope vertical. That's intended to take forward motion and quantify how much pressure it took to slice through. This gives you some rough idea of edge aggression. The next test is to cut through a 40 millimeter thick manila rope. And then I test on a best machine tester to test how keen and nice the edge stayed. I do that until it's over 400 grams on the best tester, checking with microscope and checking to see when it loses shaving capability in between tests. After three, I will hammer the edge into a pine piano leg, and that's just to see if any of the edges break on impact. There are certain sharpening methods I've found that create an edge that's not as robust to impact tasks. And I wanna kinda of weed those out because for a working edge, I want it to be reasonably durable. Anyway, that's what we're testing for today. In just a second, we'll skip right over to the test footage and I will let you know what the finishing stone that we're actually testing was. So it's gotten a little bit confusing to keep track of all the numbers on the scorecard that I generate, and it's a lot of work. So I've changed my format to just show the last best score that we've gotten so far in the testing. I hope you guys like that. Let me know in the comments. All right, today we are testing the Arkansas Translucent Stone. I tested this stone with a set of stones that were fine. You can see the best there. And thinking that it was a fine stone, looking at the microscope in comparison to some of my other stones, I would label this more a medium grit stone. It's kind of on the edge of fine, in my opinion. That said, there's some nice texture in the edge. I'm sorry, I've gotten better at my microscope since this point. Not a lot of reflections or indications of bending or burr. It's a fairly clean looking edge, in my opinion. So the rig weighs two kilos here. So if you subtract that from the 3.1 kg, it takes about 1.1 kilos of force to get through that one centimeter thick sisal rope. Very aggressive the first time through the Andy. And as you can see, we have a new high score for the first pass through. It has lost shaving capability as almost all edges do the first time through this 40 millimeter manila rope. And here we're keeping up with the best, not quite beating the Veneve 7.5, which is our best on pass two, but 320, very good score. The aggression of this stone was surprising, better than any of the fine or mid grit stones that I have tried so far. And here we have pass three, registering at 345 grams, which again, is a new best score. So very, very good performance for the Arkansas Translucent. Bit hard to see here, but once I actually get through the rope, it actually hits 8.9 for just a moment. So I count from the highest amount. So if you subtract the weight of the rig, that's 6.9 kgs. And the best so far in terms of loss after the first three cuts was 4.2 on the Veneve. This is the edge after three passes through the 40 millimeter manila rope. There's not a lot of texture left in the edge, so it's getting a little bit harder, and that happens for all the edges I've tested on these Victorinox knives. But surprisingly, you see very little variation 
damage or worn away spots in the edge. Here I hit a particularly sharp piece of edge, and so it's very, it's no observed loss of sharpness compared to the last reading that we had. And then I test again, and it comes back as 22 grams. So averaging it out, it hit 314.5, and that's a new high score for the impact test. So very, very good specs on the Arkansas Translucent so far. Powered through the rope on the fourth pass, which usually ends most edges other than the ceramic dual grit. And it's still got some life left in it, but it's right on that 400 gram mark. So we're getting very close to the end of the life of the edge, beginning to lose that aggression. Hit a lively piece of edge here on pass five, but you can see I'm struggling to get through the rope. However, I would say that this is better performance than we've got from any fine edge. Most fine edges or mid grit edges max out at about three passes. A dual grit edge will do four or five. The best dual grit edge we have tested up to this point did six. So we on this pass are actually surpassing our best tested dual grit edge so far. So very surprising and cool results here for the Arkansas Translucent. I've slowed this one down so that you can see the actual speed that I test at. I test very slowly to make sure that best is very accurate. And we're finally over 400 grams, ending the test with a new record of seven passes. Feel free to check out my last test on screen now. For the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the home slice. Have a good day.